The bloody rebellion in Libya has captured the world's attention and concern, but tensions continue to rise across the Arab world. In Bahrain this week, tens of thousands of people took to the streets in the nation's largest ever pro-democracy rally, demanding an end to monarchist rule. And where was Bahrain's King Hamad meeting yesterday with his counterpart in Saudi Arabia, a country that so far has avoided the wave of unrest? Talal Al Zain is chief executive officer of Bahrain's $9 billion sovereign wealth fund, Mum Talakat, and he's also chairman of Gulf Air. He's with us on the phone from Bahrain this morning. Talal, uh, from a distance, the situation in Bahrain appears to be as tense as ever, the largest pro democracy rally ever that the country has seen. What's going to happen next? Uh, hi, Eric. Uh, thank you again for having me uh, with you. Uh, Eric, uh, what's happening in Bahrain? Yes, there is uh, a move uh, you know, by the people that they're uh, asking for uh, further reforms. Uh, of course, for us in Bahrain, for the last 10 years, we've been passing uh, through excellent reforms. Uh, what, we, what we're seeing today is that there is a need for an accelerated uh, reform. Of course, the good thing is that uh, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, uh, Sheikh Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, uh, he is, uh, he's, hold, he's holding in his hand the, the national dialogue uh, to, uh, to, to improve on, on the system that we have on implementing further reforms. Talal, are you afraid at all of what might happen? At all. I, I really, uh, genuinely, and uh, genuinely, and really, I'm extremely optimistic on the future. I really believe that Bahrain will emerge from all this much stronger country, much stronger economy, and, and a united uh, population. Okay, I, what I would like to know is how can you be so sure? How is it that you could be so optimistic given what we've seen happen? And I don't need to remind you, but Egypt, Tunisia, and of course what's going on in Libya right now. Uh, Eric, for us here in Bahrain, I mean, we already uh, started uh, on democracy 10 years ago. Uh, it is a process, of course, and there is a lot of reform. Our standard of living is different uh, in Bahrain. We are as, we're, we're, we're classified as, as number 10, the freest economy and the market in the world. Uh, we have excellent uh, educated population. Uh, we have uh, an economy that actually attracts uh, uh, foreign investment. We are, it's, we are we're, we're in a different position uh, than other uh, nations. So is it business as usual for Mumtalakat right now? 100%. I mean, I, I, I walk into my office at 8 and I leave at 8. Okay, that's plan A, business as usual. What's plan B? What happens to your company if, and I know you don't expect this to happen, but if the monarchy falls, what do you do to protect Mumtalakat's $9 billion in capital? Let me, let me, let me start by saying this. The, the bulk majority, the biggest majority of the people in Bahrain, even the, ten, the, the people that you have mentioned that they marched, Okay, the majority of them, they want uh, they, their support of the Al Khalifas as the, uh, as the rulers. What they're asking for is for a constitutional monarchy, which we have already started. So, so again, I am comfortable that, uh, that you know, we will continue as is with improved reforms. Uh, now, on, on, on managing uh, the assets of Montanakat, We'll continue to manage them as is. I mean, we are, uh, Montalakat is really was is set up in 2006 to grow the wealth of the people of Bahrain. And that we will continue to do. Uh, one last question before we go, Talal. Do you believe the age of autocratic rule in the Arab world is over? Uh, the, uh, I can talk. I can talk about Bahrain, Eric. I mean, Bahrain, we, we're going to continue with the system, but a much stronger system. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Talal Al Zain, the CEO of Mumtalakat, Bahrain's $9 billion sovereign wealth fund.